Hello, I'm Kate Newell. I'm the Library Knowledge Service Manager for Somerset NHS Foundation Trust. We've created this little tutorial um, to show you how you can find and access up-to-date and BMJ best practice to evidence-based clinical decision-making tools that you can use in your clinical practice. If you've seen some of our other tutorials, by now you'll be familiar with how to find your way to our library website. You can either find it directly from the URL highlighted here, you can pop us into Google, or you can follow the links through from the internet if you're working on site. Either way, you'll reach our library homepage, which is just here. If you scroll down, you'll see there is actually a quick link to up to date just here in the menu on the right hand side of the screen. But I'm going to talk you through how you can find it a few other ways as well. So if you go to the left hand side of the screen, click on search tools and resources. This will take you to a page that gives you lots of information about all the resources we have access to, how you can access them, how you can access training um, and expert support from our librarians, um, and also how you can access a few other bits and bobs. But we're interested in accessing up to date and BMJ best practice today. So there's two ways you could do that. You could click on the link in the text here to point of care tools, or you can click on it from the left hand menu just here. Click on it here. OK, so this takes you to our point of care tools website and from here you can access both BMJ best practice and up to date. So I'll talk you through how to access up to date first. Um, so there's quick links here if you want to access the res these resources. If you're at work on, on a trust network computer, you can follow this link here. If you're from home, um, you can click on the link here. Um, it looks slightly different, uh, but I'll explain that in just a moment. And we've also got the link to BMJ best practice here as well. So let's have a go at accessing up to date. So I'm on a networked NHS computer at the moment, so I'm going to click on the link to access it from a work terminal. If you click on the, the link to access it from home, you'll see pretty much the same screen, but you'll have to log in slightly differently. So if you click on the link, because I'm on a network computer, um, it will automatically register that I'm from Somerset NHS Foundation Trust and give me access to the content. So if you're working on site, uh, you'll be able to access up to date directly from any network computer or device. So this is up to date. Um, so just to quickly show you what a topic would look like, I'm going to pop in asthma in here. And this will bring up a list of resources in up to date about asthma. So if I click on the first one, overview of asthma management. This is just to give you a brief indication of the content inside up to date. So you can scroll the left hand menu here to get to jump to different sections of the overview, or you can scroll this side here, um, the full text for information. So I won't go into any more detail. If you'd like any more detail about up to date, if you contact the library, we can arrange a special one to one session with you. So because I'm on site, it's picked up who I am and it's let me in automatically. If you're off site, you will need to register for an up to date app, um, account so that you can access from home and also so that you can download and use the app as well. So either link you, link you click on either from home or at work, if you click on where it says register here. And it will ask you to fill in this registration form. You'll need to do this from a trust network computer before you can use it from home or on your personal mobile device. Just pop your details into the form here. Create your username and password for accessing up to date from home or on your personal device and click on submit registration. And once you've got that username and password, what you'll do if you're logging in from home or your personal device is you will log in using that um, when it prompts you to. OK, so that's how you access up to date. I'm just going to take you back now so that we can see how to access BMJ best practice. OK, so we're back at the point of care tools page now. So to access BMJ best practice from here, from work or at home, it's the same login process. You click on the link. And it will take you through to a page where you need to log in. I 
apologies, it's a bit slow. Here we go, here's the login page. So you can either click on login at the top here, or if you scroll down the page a little bit, it says access through your institution. So if you click on this button here, I've already logged in this morning as I was practicing, but you'll see a search box come up. And if you start typing in Somerset NHS Foundation Trust, you'll be prompted to log in. So if you click on that, it'll ask you to open, log in with your Open Athens account. So we do have another video on how you can register for an Open Athens account. But if you've got any trouble, just contact the library and we can sort that out for you. So I will log in with my Athens account. So you can see how this looks compared to up to date. OK, so it's just logging me in. So with BMJ Best Practice, you can also register with the resource um, so that you can collect CPD points, um, which is quite useful. So I've, I've already registered, so it's not prompting me to register. But if you haven't already registered, there will be a link at the top here where you can register for a person and link it to your NHS account. Um, so that you can collect CPD points. So as a comparison, I'm just going to pop in asthma in here like we did for up to date and hit enter. OK, and this will take you through to a search results screen and you just click on the ones that you want to look at. So, for example, I want to look at asthma in adults. I will click on that one. So very similar to up to date. It's just arranged the information in a slightly different way. And from here, you can just click on the links to the sections you're interested in. So that's it. That's the whistle stop tour of how to access up to date and BMJ best practice. If you need any further help or information, please contact the library. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.